Hey guys, welcome back. As promised, I'm going to do a video for you to show you how you can write on an envelope with your Cricut machine. So this is a birthday card I made yesterday for my husband's whose birthday is coming up in a couple days. So the card's all done. It's all put together. I've already filled it in with my handwriting and my little message to my husband. So now I need to put it in an envelope. I do not have very nice handwriting. So I'm going to get my Cricut to put his name on the front. So first thing I'm going to do is hide the actual card because I've already made it. Pull out a square and I'm going to change the square to the size of my um, already done envelope. So I don't, I've tried before to make envelopes with Cricut, with the Cricut and you got to use pretty small like um, delicate cardstock. You know, think about most envelopes that's not super thick and I find it's just easier for me to buy a package of 50 same size envelopes and then I base my card size on those envelopes. So that's what I've done. So width wise I'm going to be 7.25 inches and the height 5.25. So this is my pretend envelope. Let's change it to a lighter color. So now I'm going to need the text on there. So let's hunt down a nice text, not uh, anything crazy. So there we go. I'm going to make this smaller. Let's zoom in. And I'm gonna pop out the letter spacing because that's R and the Y were too close together. So that's one way you can do it. Or you can ungroup the letters and do it that way. So let's change this to pen. It looks pretty simple, but I'm gonna show you a trick on how to kind of fill in the font. So I don't know if you know how to do this. You actually use negative offset. So we want to try and do a pretty small number. That one we're, oh, I guess we were seeing it there. It was so tiny, we could barely see it. So let's try it again. Looks like my offset tool is being a little difficult. Okay. So there was the point nine. Let's do another offset at point five. We're going to go back to the pen, and that's all you keep doing is different size offsets. And you can see it starts filling it in. I'm just going to get rid of that one there on the side. And you keep going back. You could go back to your regular text or the offset text, whatever is going to work best for you. So I'm going to do one at seven because I had nine. Then we'll do one at 0.11. And we'll do point one three. Point one five. And let's try one more. 
0.17. So there, now it's actually quite filled in. So I'm going to take my square and hide it for now. I'm going to take all my well, sorry, all my offsets and attach them. And then I'm going to bring back my card. So another thing I'd like to do is I've got these little circle kind of labels and they are 0.75 of an inch, three quarters of an inch. And I like to take the person's initial and write it on that and then stick it to the back of the card. I think it ends up being super cute. So I will show you what I usually do. So I just take their initial there. One that's too big, but that's not very pretty. I usually try and find a really nice font. Let's switch that to pen. I will zoom in so you can see. So there we go. Now the trick to doing this comes down to how you place items onto your mat. So let's click make it. Thinks it's a large project, but it's actually not. So you can see my square and my circle got put onto another mat. I don't want that. I'm going to move that. And I'm also gonna move the circle. So it's the three little dots on the left side of the object and you just pop them over. So first thing I'm going to do is just kind of get everything moved out of the way. I am going to line up my envelope on the ones. And then eyeballing the best I can, I'm going to put Brian in the center. So here's my actual Cricut mat here. And I'm just lining it up with the ones. Just flatten it down. You're not cutting anything. Now I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to line that up on the seventh row. Line up the B. Now these are my little sticker guys. They're just all purpose labels. And sometimes you have to do this more than once. It's just the way it is. So here's ones I'd done before. This is for a different person. <laughs> so not my husband. Just hunting down my scissors. I should have cut one out. My apologies, guys and gals. Okay, so I cut pretty close on the two sides and I'm just going to line it up under the seven and against the one. So make sure on the screen you get it as center as possible. If you have to zoom in, go ahead and do that. So there we go. Now I'm going to click. Let me zoom back out. I've got everything where I want it. It's lined up on my mat. So first I'm going to click the big envelope, the little three circles, and I'm going to hide it. Then I'm going to click the little circle and hide that as well. So now I'm going to click continue. The base material I'm just going to put down as, uh, we'll go with light cardstock. And now you can see all it wants is the pen and I don't require a tool in clamp B. So I'll get this all done up and I'll show you the end results. Okay, the machine is all done. So I could probably have done maybe one more offset on that. 
if I wanted to. And then there's the little bee. But I'm happy with how that turned out. So let's get it all put together. So there's the card that I made for my husband. Get everything in there. Honestly, I usually cheat and add a small amount of tape <laughs> to the end. I just find it easier. We'll add little B and there. My husband's birthday card is ready for him on his birthday. I know he'll like the card and he'll be probably interested to know how I did that because he's seen me do up card envelope names and I didn't fill in the font. So this is a new little trick that he's yet to see. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I truly appreciate it and I appreciate you. Until next time.